Did you know that Ugandans lose over 800 million dollars annually stuck in traffic jams, equivalent to about 52 days of their lives every year? But what if I told you that there is a story of resilience, ambition and ingenuity behind how Kampala took on this problem? On December 19, 2018, President Jory M7 flagged off the groundbreaking construction of the Kampala flyover with the first phase budgeted 82 million US dollars. This video takes you behind the scenes of Africa's most epic infrastructure transformation, from its early blueprints to its towering completion. This isn't just about concrete and steel, it's about how a city dared to reimagine itself. This is the untold story that the media won't show you. Stay with me as I unveil the triumphs, challenges and vision that shaped the Kampala flyover into a beacon of progress for an entire region. Flyover. After President M7 flagged off the project, Ugandans commuting via Queensway and Insambia Road woke up into a city transformed, concrete barriers diverting traffic everywhere. Within months, calls began rising at regular intervals, sparking hope that the long-awaited Kampala flyover was finally becoming a reality. Soon after, beams, timber and concrete came together to form the Kampala flyover road above, while Uganda's first underpass road took shape near the arena mall. As months passed, footbridge construction began, painting a clear picture of how this project would revolutionize traffic flow and pedestrian safety. So guys, uh, right now I'm standing at uh, the Kampala flyover and uh, what you see behind me is a walkway. This is what is happening here. People will be walking from there. I think it's not yet complete, but these guys are doing a great job. Yeah, so people will be walking from here. The face of Kampala is going to change so much. The flyover project is soft started to take form, with parts of the bridge deck becoming visible. See guys, they have always told you that uh, uh, we are very poor, but I'm very happy, I thank God, we have constructed a road like this one, it's uh, on international level, you can't find such roads in very poor countries, which means that my country is developing into a middle income status. Simultaneously, Nachifobo Stadium's construction added to the excitement, as these unexpected moments brought a sense of progress to the city. Fast forward, the bridge deck touched the ground. The underpass neared completion and the entire project began to come alive. I repeat, this is the Kampala flyover. This is how it looks like. So, yeah, this is it, guys. So, boy, don't make me. This is how Kampala is transforming at a very high speed. It's one of the most developing cities in Africa. So this is the Kampala Flyover Project. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Dominic Mu. If you're new on the channel, guys, subscribe to the channel. Today, we're going to be seeing one of the projects that are changing the face of Kampala. Right here in Kampala, we are standing at the Kampala Flyover. So let me take you around and show you how the Kampala Flyover looks like. At this point, these are pedestrian walkways. So people will be walking from here, as you can see. This is how the project looks like. I don't want you to think we are in another country, but we are here in Uganda. This is the center of everything. That is, that is the walkway where people will be walking. Right now, I'm taking you on top of the Kampala flyover. This is it. Guys, we are on top of the flyover. So guys, starting from this point, this is where the, the flyover has stopped at this point. It is about 90% complete. So this is it. We're on top of the flyover. Nice work has been done here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. So this flyover 
was intended to reduce on traffic jam at this point. This point used to have a lot of traffic jam and the Kampala State Council Authority said, why don't we transform this point? It used to be the Queen's Way. We used to have the clock tower down here. So they had to transform to sit down Kampala City Authority together with the government of Uganda. They sat down and cooperated with the JICA, Japan International Corporation, uh, to construct such a road. Remember Japan Construction uh, Authority, that JICA constructed one of the best bridges in Africa. It's the Jinja Bridge, the new Jinja Bridge. When you reach Jinja, don't miss to visit that bridge. It's one of the best bridges. When we stand here, we can see the Kampala city. Welcome to Kampala, guys. Let me. Ah. How? I just love the way Uganda is developing. Uganda is developing at a fast rate. So when you stand here and look down, show them. That's the pedestrian walkway. So come along and we go. We have a limited time here. This is the Kampala flyover project. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. This way, we are coming from the capital city, Kampala, as you can see. I have a nice and smart cameraman here with me, so you can't miss out anything. Yeah. So Kampala is transforming. I know this road is going to change everything in Kampala. This road is going to change everything. This Kampala flyover project is a multi-billion project. 200 billion was invested to construct this road. So though this money was on the debt, but it's on debt that we grow. If you don't get debt, you can't grow. Yeah, as long as you pay the debt, good debt is good. So this is the Kampala flyover project. And when we look down here, we can see, I think this is uh, the construction base. So, this is it. When we look down, it's the fire brigade down there. So, that's it. Alright guys, family, I'm going to be showing you the longest underpass in Kampala. So, it's your boy Dominic Mu, let's go and show you the underpass. It's the underpass. So guys, this underpass was begun to be constructed about a few years ago. And it's an underpass that connects to the Kampala flyover project. As you can see, I've been showing you in my past videos, showing you the Kampala flyover project, but I'd never shown you this underpass. So uh, this is how the underpass looks like. Oh, it's like this. It has lights installed on the walls so that people that will be driving through this underpass will be driving safely without any worry. Cause uh, if these lights are not installed here, there will be a lot of darkness in this underpass. So guys, the Kampala flyover project is changing everything in Kampala. If you've watched my past videos, guys, you will wonder whether this is Kampala. And once this is finished, we are going to enjoy the city. <laughs> We are out of the underpass now. You can show them where we have come from. This is it. This is it. The underpass, the Kampala flyover underpass. So, let's continue up to the other side and show them how it really looks like. It's really good. I can even run from here. I can enjoy this. <laughs> so, it also has a tunnel here, so you don't have to worry about flooding of the underpass. It has a tunnel that has been well constructed. These guys never wasted the money. So it's the Jika that is constructing this. When we stand here, we can see the Arena Mall. That's the Arena Mall, guys. Also, I kick it, careful, Arena Mall. That is it. If you stand here in the underpass, you can be seeing the Arena Mall. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
It's your boy Dominic Mu. <laughs> like the video, share. When we stand here, we can see the Marriott Hotel. It's another tall building over there. So, we are going to be walking on top of the... Is it the flyover now? <laughs> because if down there is an underpass, up there is a road. I don't know whether pedestrians can walk on this road. Oh my God. So, there is another point there where people will be crossing from. Another point over there. So guys, right now, I'm crossing the road to the other side to show you, to show you, but I have to be careful because they're running very close over here. I, I, I tell my brothers, mm. my neighbors, mm. to use this, mm. this, this, this over mm. uh, very well to mm. reduce the accidents. Mm. Reduce accidents and move safely. Yeah. So the, the entire express highway was constructed. Mm. Did you see any impact the entire express highway brought to the country? It helps us. Yeah. Kampara flyover, it will be different to the yeah. other one, maybe. Yeah. Our sisters, our brothers, yeah. was dying in this place oh. because of much accidents. Yeah. The, the road yeah. was so small. So guys, this guy is saying that at this point, there used to be a lot of accidents in this place. So when this, this point has been uh, transformed to this, what you see, the underpass and the Kampala flyover, it is going to reduce a lot of accidents from here. It is not only going to reduce accidents, but it is also going to reduce congestion in this place. So I also like the flyover and like this project. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you, brother. Like the video and share. It's your boy, Dominic Mu. What do you think about this road? I want you to comment below. Don't leave this channel without commenting. Don't leave without subscribing. Queensway and Zambia Road followed suit with proper signage, markings and a modernized clock tower. On March 5, 2025, President Museveni officially commissioned this landmark infrastructure, marking a new era for Kampala's traffic and road networks.